a 98% VO2 max workout at the same speed would give you 51 second repeats. I remember vividly telling you people that I would run my people four times a quarter, and if they could average 51 seconds, they could break four flat. Here's proof in the pudding right here. All distances are computed the same way. You get their PR and divided by the intensity that you are trying to get out of them. Next. Running economy is a big thing. Bill talked about economy as a manifestation of mechanics, which is certainly true. Running economy can also be produced by efficiency of the metabolic system and the neuromuscular system. When you have one fight and the other, your economy is reduced. So you try to get all the tools that you can muster up to improve the mechanics and improve the metabolic efficiency of the individual. That's why you have to learn to understand these energy systems to work at the level of the zone that you're trying to improve for a particular event. And I talked about the respiratory quotient already. You do that by gas analysis, and if you want to burn glycogen or glucose, you have to be at 1.0 or better, like 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3. You know you're burning pure glycogen. Anything below 1.0, it's fats and proteins. You can manage those paces easier than you can a respiratory quotient of above 1. So you know what you're burning in the zone you're working in without the gas analysis. A lot of coaches don't know that. The intensity or velocity is known as steady state and is aerobic in nature. And whatever steady state you're working at, it's where you fail to produce lactic acid that will interfere with the velocity at which you're running. The master of steady state performance was Per Olaf Ostrand from Scandinavia that gave us the PV, PWC 170, the physical work capacity at 170. That's the ultimate in steady state. And did I just not finish telling you people that the anaerobic threshold level was 168 to 172? So 170 is a PWC, the physical work capacity. You can always get a steady state performance at or slightly below that, and that's where you run the marathon, slightly below that. 